Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Today I'm here with a small page, um, art journal page I would say, and um, I actually was inspired with this page um, by Linda, Linda Lapotka. I watched her our cut today and uh, that one with I can't remember the number but it's that one with the little wren she really liked this little guy so much that she did this card and uh, I told her what because the word the English word is wren is quite short and it's a really small bird and then I asked her do you know what we call this little guy so it's a really big name for this little bird and uh, that inspired me to do this um, page. And as you can see, oh, I, I jessed the page before. And here I have a die cut that's, um, is it a six, to six? I can't remember what this die cut is from. Or oh, this, this die is from, I cut it that. And that's a fence that has something to do. It's in connection with the name of this, this bird, actually. So I work on it and um, try to distress it. So I use three different shades of uh, brownish. It's it's beige, white, uh, light brown and a dark brown. And as I always do when I want to have it distressed is put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, dry. I take it off dry and then I go uh, over it with a baby wipe and put another layer on and another layer and so on until I'm happy with the result. So that's what I do afterwards with the background as well. And um, I, I think that's the last, no, not happy with it, so going on with it. Um, I actually, when you don't want to watch this process going through, taking the, or put it on, uh, taking it off, let me know that in the comments. Uh, I don't mind showing it. I, I do that quite regular so people know what I did. And um, But if you like to watch it, I don't mind. I can leave it in. I can cut it out. Let me know what you want. If you're bored, let me know. So, um, but that's, I'm sure, the last layer. And um, after that, I'm going on with the, the background I think I'm not sure we'll see happy I, I, oh, I etch it that's what I do here with a black um, big brush pit pen about oh, that's it now and for the background uh, I choose um, this deco art it's the same it's on the fence it's really really cheap paint it's deco art from rye hair german company it's a hobby paint so nothing spe spectacular no not a lot of pigments in very thin and watery but for the for this way of distressing i really prefer to use it instead of um yeah, wasting my good paint, so it works with this paint, fantastic. Okay, um, on the bottom I use these three different brown shades I've used on the fence, and I actually do exactly the same what I've done with the fence. Put it on, off, on, off, layers and layers, and um, it's there's not really a system when you want to do that, go and try it and you have to find out your system and uh, I always do it in a way until I'm happy and if, in the way I like it. You really have to try that but I wouldn't recommend that with this, with this uh, expensive paint. That would really hurt me. <laughs> so find a cheap paint and try it with it. Different shades of one um, color family. So. I really like that effect. It gives a bit more texture and, and depth to, to the whole thing. And um, this is one of my favorite colors 
from this deco art paint that's uh, what does it call let me have a look um is it emerald oh smaragd that's smaragd this dark green that's really nice i love it and a bit on the fence of course to let it look even more worn out and i'm going on and going on and that's where I want to put the fence actually now I'm going uh, to the top and stay with yellows oranges dark oranges so, so as you can see I um, this this little heads here on top of the page with the crowns that's what I want to only the crowns actually I painted them gold and I want to use them on uh, on the bird. You will see that afterwards. So I will cut one of them off. The others I don't. The other one I don't need. So, um, yeah, the fence and the bird. That's something. This wren actually. <clears throat> the German word for that is Zaunkönig, and the translation would be King of the Fence. So that was was something that came to my mind when when I told Linda about that so I thought that would make a nice page having the fence and the bird on top with a crown and um, that's a Zaunkönig that's how I got inspired and um, uh, this uh, I, I, yeah I cleaned the page here I messed it up a bit and here I use oh, I didn't show gluing down the fence but I think we all can glue down stuff so don't have to show that really it's not that important um, here I go um, and uh, go around the the edges of the fence to let it pop more and this is the bird that's a Sissix die it's a bit big of course but I haven't got any other and um, I use distress ink to uh, work on it and I really had problems to know which color this bird is. I had to look up into in, in the internet in the internet, and it's brown, brown red, rusty red ish sort of. So I've done it like this, and um, yeah, the wing of course and the beak, but it will be the crown first, so that you can see I cut the the crown off. And uh, yeah, that's already a, a king, king of the fence, and the big. And oh, this is um, this reflection script stamp from Tim Holtz. Put a li little bit of stamping down to get more interest into it. And I stayed in the colored shades I used. And this is um, a neo color from. Um, Simon says stamp or no hero art hero art sorry it's not ne really neo when it's dry it looks really orange so and uh, okay and I shade the the bird with my stubby law all and okay afterwards with uh, with water over it and here I um, ground the fence a bit on with a pit pen nothing special um, and this is a, a, a note, note, music note stamp, and I use Versamark for that. And uh, I haven't got any orange um, 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 embossing powder or so, so I have this um, Mika, Mika powder, and I use that one. It's a bit like um, this Perfect Pearls, I think they call it. And you can use it in the same way. And I was missing a bit more on the background, it was a bit boring, I wanted to have more going on. So I used this stencil, that's a Diane Ravelli stencil. And on the bottom I used the green to stay in the shade of that colour. And on top I used this crimson hue from um, Golden. And yeah, that I was happy with that. It looked much, much better, much more interesting. And I know that's of course the name now. 
and I forgot to switch the camera on, sorry about that, but as you can see, I only put the letters down, Zaunkönig. Normally it's written in one word, but I separated it here, so, to have a bit of balance. <clears throat> and this stamp set from Tim Holtz is um, distressy stamping, so I went over it with a pit pen to, to have it more solid. Shading a bit, and um, then afterwards I wasn't happy, and on the bottom one I went over with the Posca, a white one, to outline it, and on top I used the pit pen to outline it in black, and that made me much happier, as you can see what I do here, yeah. And um, I think that was it. it you will have some pictures at, at the end and you can see that I afterwards I went in with the uh, white Posca and shaded the fence a bit with with, uh, with white. I saw that afterwards when I took the first pictures and I thought oh there is a bit of white missing so I did that at the end. And um, that's it. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a nice week. See you then. Bye bye. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. The wiggling eye. I put him a wiggling eye on. But that's it now. Okay. Bye. Have a nice week. See you. Bye bye.